This is the Nissan RB30 engine from Engine DIY Shop. Although they sent this engine to me for free, everything you hear in this video is my own opinion. And this engine is pretty interesting. Engine DIY Shop is an online store where you can find a wide variety of mock brick engines as well as working scale models. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. Now back to the video. Now before I talk about the engine, I want to talk about the product page. This is Engine DIY Shop's mock brick engine homepage. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see this engine here. This is the RB26, not the RB30. So from this homepage, it looks like they don't have the RB30 in stock until you click on the RB26 and you see there are options. Either you can get the RB26, which is right here, or the RB30, which is what I'm reviewing today. So if you do decide to buy one of these yourself, pay close attention and make sure you're getting the right one. Now let's talk about the engine. This kit contains 1,985 pieces and took me about seven and a half to eight hours to build. I really like how this engine turned out, I think it looks really close to the real life version. I really only had one main problem with this and that's the fact that the instructions at some points were kind of unclear. For example, this turbo here is powered by a belt that runs into the inside of the engine and the step you were supposed to install the belt would be this step here. However, it did not instruct me to install the belts, and I didn't know how the turbos were supposed to be powered until I finished building them. So that required me to disassemble parts of the engine in order to install the belts. And there were a couple various spots where if you don't pay really close attention, you can mess something up and it would require you to disassemble the engine and fix your mistakes. Speaking of the turbos, I really like the way that these look. I think they look super cool, especially the cold side, which looks awesome. And I think having them powered by a belt is really smart. As for the smaller details that are on this engine, it has an alternator on the side with a rotating rotor, as well as a water pump and a radiator fan, and also has moving valves. Overall, I give this engine about an eight out of 10. And the main reason for that is the instructions. But as for the engine itself, it's really cool, it's really well built, and I love the way it looks. So I want to thank Engine DIY Shop for sending this engine to me. I think this is one of my favorites in terms of looks. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description, and if you use code DA16, you can get 16% off your purchase. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.